Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you how to fix a clogged sink that is slow draining. This will be a simple tutorial and I will be going over the steps to properly and easily fixing a clogged sink. Let's get right into the video. Now I myself have dealt with many, many clogged sinks. I, I, I will say I've probably had to unclog a sink like at least 30 times in my life, okay? Um, for many different reasons, okay? I won't, I won't waste your time going over them, but sinks clog for many reasons. Now, there's a simple step process that I use um, to get rid of a clog or slow draining sink. The first thing is going to be to pull out the drain and get rid of any debris. The number of times that I've pulled out the drain stopper and found so much hair in there that it's literally, um, it just simply cannot drain properly. You know, it's slow draining or it doesn't drain at all because the hair then gets like sort of like a, a dirt debris buildup, like almost like a mildew buildup around it. Um, so what you want to do first and foremost, this is the easiest thing. We start off with the easiest, least destructive thing and we work our way to the more complex ones. If you have a push, uh, a, a, like a pop-up drain stopper like this, you can probably just unscrew it. If not, there's gonna be a rod connector underneath that you have to take out. But you wanna pull it out and see what's happening in there. Now, in most drains, there's gonna be a grate in there, okay? And there might be hair, it's gonna, you know, some people like to use a coat hanger. Listen, just get your hands dirty, get your finger, pull up all the hair, get it out of there. Um, Make sure you clean it out and see if that fixes it, okay? Put the drain uh, the drain stopper back in there, see if it fixes it, okay? If it doesn't fix it, then you move on to step number two, which is the cheapest, easiest way of what you can put down there. You wanna get some boiling water, so just literally boil a pot of water, get a kettle, get some boiling water, and just pour that kettle with boiling water down the drain. You're obviously not gonna pour the kettle down the drain, you're pouring the water down the drain. Um, you wanna do that, I don't know, you can do it probably with at least two to three kettles worth of water and see if that helps. Usually what that's gonna do is that's gonna uh, disintegrate any of like the mildew that is built up that might be clogging the drain. It won't necessarily get rid of the hairs, but if you disintegrate the mildew, whatever dirt, debris, or hair is clog in the drain might end up making its way down and you will have an unclogged drain. Okay, so pour a few kettles worth or a few pots worth of boiling water down the drain. Cheapest option, like it's pretty much next to free, okay? Um, and it usually does the trick with most, with most cases. The third step, if that doesn't work, is you're gonna actually bust out the plunger. I don't think there's one down here. Uh, no, there's no plunger down here, but you're gonna literally take the plunger, okay? And you're gonna just put the plunger over here as if you would do it over the um, the actual drain of the toilet, okay? And you wanna plunge that because what might happen is when, like sinks can be clogged and still drain for months or even years if the clogs are in separate spots. When those clogs come together, they end up clogging it to the point where it drains really slowly or it just doesn't drain at all. By plunging it, you might separate those clogs again, which will allow you to get a nice drain happening. It might not be completely unclogged, but it will work. We're looking to get a functional sink back and then we can continue to, you know, to, to work on it as needed. So get a plunger, just plunge that thing, see if it works, especially if the water has been built up in here. Like let's say you're in a situation where the water is just built up because of the clog, right? So if there's water over here built up, you, you, you can plunge it. Obviously, you know, you're not gonna be stopping the drain like I did, but if it's built up, you can plunge it, okay? The fourth step is to go to the P-trap of the sink and see if you're lucky enough to have an access point. So if we look underneath here, every sink, at least according to code where I live, Every sink should have a P trap, and it's called the P trap because of the way that it looks like a like the letter P. Okay, now in your P trap, there might be if it's a newer one, there might be a little uh, piece here that you can unscrew. Now be aware, you should have a bucket. Sorry, there's a bucket under here because I had to unclog this sink recently. Um, put a bucket underneath there. All of the water that's stored in the P trap is probably gonna, you know, come out here. And if you have a clog later on in the drain somewhere along there, then you're gonna get all that water as well before the clog. And you might get all the water from the sink, depending on where the clog is. So get a big bucket underneath, be prepared for a little bit of a water mess. But when you unclog the P trap, when you un unscrew that part of the P trap, you're gonna have access right here. What you could do is get your finger and, uh, Poke around there, see what you feel, see if you feel a clog. You can even get a coat hanger um, and poke around there, like a metal coat hanger, gently poke around there. Um, see if you can undo the clog like that, because now you have access to the inside of the drain. So if the, if, the, if the clog is anywhere like around here, you'll be able to access it. Um, then the fifth thing, if that doesn't work, um, is you're gonna wanna snake the drain with a drain snake. So for that, you can um, 
like I said, going through the peat trap, you want to send the drain snake here first, see if that can unclog it. Then if not, you want to send it back there. Okay. Now you can do this yourself. I've done it myself many times, or you can hire a company, but if you hire a company, well, they're going to do a great job because I've actually had it done when I couldn't reach the clog myself in the past. It was way down the, way down the line of the drain. They had to go, I think about 60 feet into the drain pipe in order to undo the clog. Um, but it's, they're probably going to charge you a pretty penny, but it's going to get the job done. And they're going to make probably a nice size hole in that drain clog so that at least you, you're good to drain for a long while, right? Sometimes tree roots can cause it and stuff like that. And if that's the case, you're probably going to want to hire someone. But if it's just like hair or something along here uh, or debris, then, then you can probably do it yourself. But get a snake in there. Get a drain snake, not a real snake. Get a drain snake in there. Um, you can either send it, like I said, through the peat trap if there's an opening. In this one, there's actually no opening over here. Um, but if potentially you can um, unscrew the drain stopper and if there's no grate like that, like it's just a clear way down the drain, you can send in the drain snake through there, okay? You gotta kinda be creative and, and every situation is gonna be different. I can't tell you exactly what to do that, that will work with every single drain in the history of existence. You have to be creative with it. And last but not least is the sixth one. The sixth step, which I always leave as a last resort, I've had to use this a few times, but I always leave it as a last resort, which is use like a drain, uh, a drain unclogger, like a liquid drain unclogger, like where I live, we use Drano, it's very popular, we pour it down the drain, you, you know, follow the instructions, it's, you know, pour it down the drain, leave it for a certain amount of time, rinse it out, and that usually, usually will, will help you out. Um, but that gets rid of organic matter. It's not going to get rid of like something that was dropped down the drain. It'll get rid of the hair usually, uh, maybe any soil in there, uh, maybe any, a little bit of tree root, uh, to, enough to get water draining. But really, I don't like to use it because I, I'm not exactly sure how it responds to the pipes in the long term. I know in the short term, it seems like it doesn't do anything bad. But I mean, we're talking about doing, pouring something that eats away at things into like, you know, PVC like plastic like pipes, right? So I and I just don't like using it because of the smell and you know I'm a very like I'm a very conscious person of the fumes that are going in my house. Also, I always save this as the last step because once you pour Drano in there, you don't want to go poking around in the P-trap in this because like the Drano might be in the P-trap, okay? The Drano might be in the drain. And even if you put a snake down there after you've used Drano, you know, you're pulling the snake out of there and the Drano might end up being on the snake. So like always wear gloves, always be safe. And I always use Drano as the last step or, or like any drain cleaner as the last step because then, you know, like I know that I'm not going to be touching the drain after I pour that in there. Once I pour that in there, I'm not touching the drain. Like I don't want to, I don't want to mess around with anything, but that's it. That is essentially how to fix a clogged sink, a slow draining sink, a simple tutorial. Try the steps that I've outlined in that order. And remember, safety comes first. Always, always be safe. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.